hello my varieties fam y'all welcome back to queen varieties channel on today's episode i'll be sharing a step-by-step -step recipe on how to make the perfect nigerian fish rolls recipe this is incredibly delicious very easy simple to put together and absolutely fantabulous trust me you're going to love the magnificent outcome don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel share my video with your friends and loved ones remember to turn on your bell notifications to get instant prompt each time i upload since we are making a um, fish roll of course you require fish and so it is a basic ingredient you can use the thin ones or like me i have here two horse mackerel you can also use the other type of mackerel if you prefer i will season with salt and also homemade seasoning powder i have uploaded this video previously i'll be linking it in the description section just massage all ingredients right into the fish i'll transfer into my air fryer and have it um, air fried you can also fry it or boil it okay all right so everything now is ready i'm going to drop them into the plate that you're seeing you can see how smoky and yummy it looks guys this fish here it tastes so superb in fact i couldn't even resist the temptation of you know pinching the fish and eating it <laughs> i almost finished the fish off camera trust me in fact i was almost tempted to stop shooting this video <laughs> to begin preparation of the fillings i'll add into the pot the oil that came out from the air fryer include a little bit of more oil and then onions i have the one bell pepper and garlic scotch bonnet mixture which i have blended cover the pot and cook for exactly five minutes after 5 minutes, I'm going to season with curry powder, homemade seasoning and also no cube. Just add any seasoning of your choice. Together, I will include 1 smoked herrings. This is going to help to elevate the flavor of this um, entire meal. Trust me, it is superb. I have now added the fish that was now air fried. We are going to coat properly and season with a little bit of salt. Guys this aroma was irresistible it was wonderful to behold exactly three minutes after i have covered the pot i will include the bell peppers of green and red and coat everything properly you can see into the pot there is no drop of liquid at all just in case you have liquid you just have to cook it until it dries up completely or you can add a little bit of flour mixture into yours to dry and here i have set it off heat into a plate and allow it to cool down completely before we make use of it over to the dry ingredients you will require four cups of all-purpose flour of course i'm going to sift it properly this is very very important anytime you're making any pastry or baking recipes okay guys so moving forward i will include the other dry ingredients which is the baking powder cinnamon or nutmeg with salt at the same time i'll add three to four tablespoons of um, sugar pass everything across the sieve and then begin to mix properly after the mixture have taken place i'll create a hole in the middle of the bowl and crack in two eggs together i'll add um, two large tablespoons of softened butter I will also add 3 teaspoons of vanilla aroma. Then begin to mix everything until a crumbly like texture is formed. This is very very important. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so let me remind you that all ingredients must be at room temperature. I will then begin to coat the dry ingredients by incorporating step by step milk until I form a perfect dough. To my amazing subscribers, let me use this time to appreciate you. You all have been so wonderful. Thank you so much for coming back always to watch my videos. And if you have not yet subscribed, kindly subscribe if you are enjoying this video. Thank you. I have now lightly floured my work surface, transferred the dough right in there and begin to knead it. Okay? So I'm going to knead it until it becomes a bit stretchy. I'll then cover it up and allow it to set for some minutes. I'll be leaving that for exactly 30 good minutes. 
all right 30 minutes later i am back so here i began to slice out my dough into little chunks it's still a little bit cold because of the environment i find myself and the items i am using is a bit cold so i will let it sit down there for extra 20 minutes until it is ready so while that step is taking place i'm going to add oil into the pot and allow it to preheat you can see on my background there i have turned the doughs into round balls yes and i also left them covered so right now you can notice the dough is very very stretchy we are now ready to start you know filling it up it is very important for you to note that the dough must not be cold Add one tablespoon of the filling into the dough and then seal it completely on the sides that is very very important make sure you have sealed it i also rub a little bit of water at the tip of the dough and then tightly seal it completely and also roll it on my work surface just to make sure that it is sealed completely you don't want this to burst open during the frying process in the oil moving forward to the frying process the oil now is completely heated we are frying on the medium settings this has been heating for some time i'll begin to add the fish rolls inside the seasoned oil okay i call it seasoned oil because um, i dropped in a little bit of onions inside there and it has infused its flavor so make sure you're frying this on the medium settings just like you want to fry akara or your bones okay or puff puff that's the same settings you should be heat using and i've been frying this for exactly five to eight good minutes i'm going for a crunchy outside and a yummy inside skin i'll be frying up to eight good minutes guys okay for those of you who would like to know my cooker settings is from zero to number nine and i'm using exactly number four to five to fry this and once you're done with the first setup i'm going to remove it and continue until everything is completely ready and my beautiful people just take a good look at how gorgeous and incredibly yummy our fish rolls turned out this is so perfect in fact you don't want me to tell you how delicious the hour outside layer and the internal layer turned out it is superb yummy delicious incredibly amazing bring out all the descriptive words that you're going to describe this yummy delicious episode it is yummy my beautiful friends and that is it very simple easy to fix and like i said of course incredibly delicious now look at how it looks like when i open it you can see it is very moist on the inside that gorgeous delicious pepper crunch oh my goodness i lack words to express this try it and come back and tell me how it turned out for you send me pictures on instagram facebook join me on those platforms let's make a delightful experience remember variety is the spice of life share my video like subscribe until i come your way next time don't forget to stay blessed and love bye for now